Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. Today we are going to create this beautiful crochet rakhi. This is a square crochet motif that I have turned into a rakhi and see how beautiful it looks. Here I have used beads to decorate it and I have made it in two colors. Here there is one more that I have created and uh, you can just keep this square like this on the dory and still it will look beautiful. And also along this dory you can add more beads or more decoration to it. Also in place of this big bead you can add a big diamond. Here I have made it in 4 rounds. This square crochet motif is completed in 4 rounds. So it is a very simple pattern as well. So here I have worked with 2mm crochet hook and I have chosen different shades of Hobby India yarn. It is pure 100% acrylic yarn. So let's go ahead and crochet this rakhi. So to begin with work a slip knot like this and chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Insert the hook into the very first chain here and join this with a slip stitch like this our magic ring is created. Now to begin the first round, train 1, insert the hook into this ring and work 1 SC around this ring like this. We are going to make SCs all over in this round. Again work 1 SC into this ring, 2, 3, 4, we are going to work a total of 16 SCs, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and one more to go 16. Now insert the hook into this top space in the first SC and work a slip stitch like this. This completes around 1. So here I have cut the thread and taken the tail long enough to make my round 2 with this pink shade and on the other loose end of this thread I have put the needle and I am going to put in 16 beads into this smaller beads like this as I'll be requiring 16 beads to decorate the second round. So I'll just put in 16 beads and then we'll begin the round 2. Now I have finished the beads work. Now nextly to begin this next round chain 4. 3 plus 1 more chain will make chain 4 and then turn this ring as we are going to work on the back side and this is the round 2 and we are going to work on the back side of the ring and nextly for round 3 we will flip it again to the front side. So we are working on the back side just remind, uh, remember this. Bring this bead closer to the hook like this yarn over work one chain like this and this bead is secured. And we will be moving just like this all through this round. Yarn over into the next SC below work 1 DC. This bead is now facing onto the backwards which is our front side. Chain 1. Bring the next bead closer. Work a chain tightly like this. Yarn over. Insert into the next SC below. And work 1 DC like this. Chain 1 again, bring next bead closer, yarn over and tightly put a chain here, make a chain here, yarn over and work 1 DC into the next SC below. This is how we are going to go about this round. Again chain 1, bring the bead closer, work 1 chain little tightly. Now yarn over and work 1 DC into the next SC below like this. This is the back side. 
chain 1 again bring the bead closer to it yarn over work one chain little tightly yarn over again into the next SC below work 1 DC this is the front side this is the back side again chain 1 bring one bead closer to the hook work one chain little tightly yarn over again and work one DC in the next SC again chain one bring in a bead work a chain little tightly yarn over work one DC in the next SC below like this and just move like this all the way this round so here I have reached the end of round 2 to secure this last bead just chain 1 tightly and into this top third chain insert the hook and work 1 SC to join the round 2 like this this is the back side of this and nextly I am going to change the shade to cream so I will just cut the thread here so here to begin the round 3 I have flipped this to the front side the motif and I am joining this cream shade here if you are changing the shade please secure the knots and the threads well nextly to begin the next round I have joined it in this chain 1 space so there only chain 1 and work 1 SC there only and after making 1 SC chain 3 skip the next DC into the chain 1 space after that work 1 SC like this please work 1 chain and 1 SC in the beginning and then chain 3 now chain 3 again and after the next DC in the chain 1 space here insert the hook and work 1 SC chain 3 again after the next DC in this chain 1 space here insert the hook work 1 SC chain 3 again skip the next DC into the next chain 1 space work 1 SC and we are going to go all the way around like this please make chain 1 and 1 SC in the beginning and then chain 3 and work 1 SC in the next chain 1 space after the next DC now chain 3 again skip the next DC into the chain 1 space here work 1 SC chain 3 again skip the next DC in the chain 1 work 1 SC go all the way around like this as you at the end here so here I have reached the end of round 3 this is my last chain 3 after the last SC made and now we had made this first SC in the beginning insert the hook at the top of this SC and just work a slip stitch to join this round like this this completes round 3 for round 4 here insert the hook into the next chain 3 like this and work one slip stitch to reach the center of this chain 3 chain 1 and work one SC there only at the center of this chain 3 now chain 3 into the next chain 3 insert the hook work one SC chain 3 again into the next chain 3 work 1 SC like this two times we are going to work SC chain 3 SC chain 3 SC and then into the next chain 3 insert the hook and work 4 DCs 1 2 we are working the corner of the crochet motif 3 and 4 after 4 DCs chain 4 3 and 4 work a picot out of this chain 4 like this and in the same chain 3 space work 4 more DCs 1 2 3 and 4 one corner is created in the next chain 3 work 1 SC again chain 3 in the next chain 3 space below work 1 SC like this chain 3 in the next chain 3 space work 1 SC like this yarn over 
In the next chain through space, we are going to work the corner again. So, work 4 DCs 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 DCs then chain 4, work a picot with this chain 4 like this, yarn over, work 4 more DCs in the same chain through space 1, 2, 3, and 4. Nextly in the next chain 3 work 1 SC, chain 3 again. In the next chain 3 work 1 SC, one more time chain 3 and in the next chain 3 work 1 SC, yarn over. We are going to create the third corner, insert the hook into, into the next 3 chains, work 4 DCs, 2, 3 and 4. After 4 DCs, chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4, work a picot with these chain 4, yarn over, work 4 DCs in the same space, a third corner is being created, 2, 3 and one more, 4, then into the next chain 3 here, insert the hook, work 1 SC, chain 3, into the next chain 3 work 1 SC, chain 3 one more time, into the next chain 3 work 1 SC, yarn over and into the next chain 3 we are going to work our last corner. So, work 4 DCs here, 2, 3 and 4, 4 DCs, now chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4, work a picot here like this yarn over and work 4 more DCs in the same space here. This creates our fourth and the last corner of this square motif 3 and one more 4. Nextly, we had this beginning SC, insert the hook into this SC and work one slip stitch to join this round like this. This finishes all the 4 rounds of this motif, it is simple and easy and quick to make. See how beautiful it looks. So, to prepare the dory, I have taken the thread around 178 centimeters and doubled it and I am holding these loose ends in my hands and I am taking the help of my son. He is holding the other end of this thread, the joined end and we are twisting it in opposite directions. I am twisting it in one direction and my son is twisting the same dory on the other end into the opposite direction like this. Keep twisting, it will take a little while till you get this kind of texture very tight. Now, I have taken this other loose end from him and uh, I am holding it like this all stretched. Then gently release this one end like this, drag and release, drag and release and you will get all this twined up. This is the loose end that I am holding on one side, work one knot, leaving a little tail behind like this. On the other end also, work a knot almost after the same distance, leaving a tail, cut this joined end and here we have this fringe kind of pattern. I am holding the two together to make them up of the same size. Just cut them together to level the fringes on both the sides. The dory is made. See how simple it is to prepare this dory. Nextly, I am going to secure this big bead in the center and this is the back side of the motif. Insert the needle into this SC round, please take a long enough thread, we will be requiring little more thread. Now, beat this thread like this and again on to the other side of this SC round, insert the needle through, take it out onto the back side, flip it over and uh, here I have taken a long thread as I will be securing the dory also with this thread. So, just uh, keep the thread 
almost equal on both the sides now tie this and secure the bead with knots two or three are enough the bead is secured and now here I'm going to attach this dory also fold your dory into half almost uh, here is our center place it like this you can also take the help of uh, markers or safety pins I am doing it just like that simply and uh, I have already this needle and thread ready on one side and I am securing this dory onto one side from center till the first this round of uh, cream shade I will be securing and I will not be sewing it till the very corner until here only I am securing it please make smaller stitches onto the front and if you wish you can make little longer stitches on the back and just secure it like this put two or three knots to secure it in place like this and I'm going to secure this loose end as well into the same dory backwards just to work it backwards into the dory like this you could also grab hold of the SE round and secure it again so it's done on one side now thread the needle with the another loose end and we will work on the other side to secure the dory here grab the stitches from beneath and work smaller stitches like this I'll be securing it till the very first round of cream shade so till here I'll be securing the dory with the rakhi just make smaller stitches neat and clean stitches should not show up onto the front side and secure with a few knots and this is ready to secure the thread this loose end again work backwards into the dory and it's done cut off the extra thread so the beautiful simple easy to make rakhi is ready it's so simple to make it only has four rounds have fun crocheting have fun learning please go ahead and do try you can add more decoration and more beads on this uh, dory side if you wish and uh, have fun crocheting happy raksha bandhan